heard it when you came in. And I want, before you play it, the song says, Take me to the king. I have nothing to bring. It says, I want to lay at your throne to see all of your glory. It's one way of getting our love perfected in him. It's an empty out of ourselves, of ourselves. Of all the mess, of all the junk we have acquired, all the stuff that we done took on. And to be in the presence of the Lord, to be at his throne, to be at his feet, and say, Lord, here I am. First do surgery on me so that I can love properly. So I can strive towards that perfect love that you want me to have, that you want me to show. And this song administered so much. And it, it's by Templar Man. And you can download it. It's on YouTube. And listen to it. Because you know what she said? I'm, it's no more time for no more games. It's time for, you know, playing church. It's time, it's time out for us coming to church every Sunday. And then on Monday, we go back to the same old way. We go back to the same way we love. The same way we care about somebody. The same way. If it's not getting better and better every day, if it's not to the point that we can love somebody and not even think about what they did or how they treated us, we need to, again, go back and re-examine our love. Are we after God's heart? Are we after what he wants for us? Are we after being in his will, staying in his will? And I want you all just to close your eyes and listen to the song. And if you want your love to be more and more perfected in him as the song is playing, Come forward. But okay, it's the four songs to <laughs>
situation. But we're going to pray for them. We're standing in the gap for them. We're standing in the gap for our loved ones, for our friends, for our enemies. We don't know, God, what brought them to that situation or what brought them to that type of attitude. But God, you know how to fix it. You know how to heal them. You know how to deliver them. You know how to pick them up, turn them around, and place them on a solid foundation, God. You know how to do it, so God, we're trusting you. We're believing you for everything. Hallelujah. Everything. No matter how hard it seems, we are believing you for it. No matter how impossible it may seem, we are believing you for it, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I call that your love bring families together, God. I'm calling for your love to unite friendships, God, in the name of Jesus. Mend the bridges, God, of your people right now in the name of Jesus, God. Lift up the hung down heads, God, in the name of Jesus. Console the sorrowful hearts right now. Give them a song of joy to sing in the name of Jesus, God. And we'll be so careful to give your name the glory and the honor that it is so richly due. We will continue to bless your name. Your word says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. So we will continue to praise you. We'll continue to bless you. We'll continue to thank you. We'll continue to glorify you, God. Even when we don't feel like we're we'll continuing to glorify you, God. And we know that you will do above and exceedingly abundantly all that we could ever ask for thing. Because we have laid it in your hands, God. We have put it in your lap. And so we thank you. And we praise you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands. It's done. Hallelujah. You really get that prayer on your heart. If you want to love like Jesus called us to love, hallelujah, it's already done. He's already started working on you right now. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be the first day of your love being perfected in Jesus. When you go home today, Say, okay, I'm examining myself. I'm not going to look at what that person did or said to me that hurt me, but I'm going to examine myself. What can I do to love them? Because Jesus resides in me. What has he called me to do? If we need to make some phone calls, if God says make that phone call, make that phone call. Don't wait on it. Don't say, oh, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. No, today. Now is the acceptable time. Do it today. Don't wait. Because you may not ever get that other chance. So when God functions your heart to do it, then we do it. Amen? Amen, amen. amen. I'm going to ask um, Minister Zarati, amen, if she can come up, amen, and receive, uh, do the offering. We want to thank God for the timely message, the message to, and the call of God to love in our hearts, to love everyone, and to be aware of the thoughts that we're having towards someone. And I, I just love that message. But right now, the time has come to bring our offering joyfully to God because He has provided for us every single moment, every single day. In our lives, and I just want to thank God for that. So we're going to get with our families and pray a prayer for the offering. And then we'll have the announcements. So please get with your family right now. Touch with someone. Agree with them. Hold their hand. Pray with them. And let's bring God's offering to his, to the rightful place. And if you don't have a family, you can join our circle in the front.
Now it's time for the announcements. And this week we have a very exciting week planned. Every Monday at 7 we have prayer. Time from 7 to 7.30. And at 7.30 we have training, minister's training. That doesn't mean that you, you don't just have to be a minister to be here. You, it is an intense Bible study. And right now we're learning about how hard is it to be a Christian. How hard is it to be a Christian in your daily walk. So if you're single, you're married, you're dating someone, you're in a relationship, this week we're studying the marriage one. Last week was very interesting. We studied about the unyoked, and then also we studied about divorce. So it was very interesting. So tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, is also the time for prayer and Bible study. If you have a prayer request and you can't make it, please make sure that we have it. Pastor Jerry, Brother David, Pastor Dawson, or myself, or Sister Janet, any one of us will be sure to bring it forth so we can pray for you, help you get that victory that you need. Also, Wednesday, praise and power service. We have such an amazing time coming together, learning more about God, and then taking that time to praise Him during the week. I am also very involved in Toastmasters. It's a public speaking club, so if any of you are interested, we meet on Thursday nights at 7 at Trinity United Methodist Church, and then there's choir practice at 7 on Thursday. Yes. At your house or here? Uh, here. Thursday night, 7 o'clock, choir practice here. So let's go forward, and let's be perfect, as he is perfect. In Jesus' name, we are dismissed. God bless you.